Excuse me, Miss Barker, you can't be coming down here. Not, not here. I, I know I'm being terribly naughty. I was just wanting to get up to the front bit and poke my head out, have a wee peek at the storm. Ship songs came about from hearing the story of how my parents actually met about five or six years ago. They never actually told me. And um, this one day at a family gathering, I sort of suddenly started hearing this amazing tale of high adventure on the seas and romance and all sorts of stuff and, and it was uh, it was immediately struck me as a great idea for a play. Well can I get out through this door? <laughs> Bloody hell Barker, close that door! <sighs> now you are taking the piss. Nobody gets out on my deck in this unless they're tied on. Tie me up then. Oh, tie me to the ship. Oh, Mr. Cullen, Pete, I, I promise I won't get washed away. I promise! <laughs> Bloody hell, Barker! Come back here, you crazy bitch! <laughs> All right! You want to taste the Atlantic, I hope you like salt. <laughs> Two minutes, all right? Two minutes and then I'm fetching you back in. <gasps> oh, shit, it's cold! <sighs> Look at me, I'm, I'm, I'm being careful! I'm being sensible, Mum! Uh, oh my God! I'm soaked to my knickers! Oh, oh, fuck the knickers! Fuck the sensible knickers! Uh. The way in which the, the story comes out is reasonably complicated in the sense that there is a narrator for the show who is actually uh, an Irishman who comes ashore off the coast of New Zealand um, in about 1790 and falls in love with a local Māori girl. And uh, so I've sort of concocted this other story and used him as the narrator. So he's sort of trying to tell my mother's story but he can't really help himself and ends up sort of telling his story as well. Personally, I prefer the wee stories to the big ones. I, I like the ones that never make it into the books. Some of the best ones never do. Probably because the idiots who write the books aren't the ones having the adventures. And those of us out having the adventures, well, we're too busy having them to be bothered writing it all down. My story never made it into the books. Maybe it should have. The Incredible Adventures of James Ryan, Whaler. Mind you, I never actually caught a whale. They're quite fast, especially if you're rowing. Uh, Ian approached me uh, to work on chip songs with him and right from the start what we were really focusing on was you know a night of great storytelling and you know this show is really about Ian and his rapport with the audience and a night where he kind of takes us into three really different worlds that are all kind of bound together quite beautifully. Well the three main stories are how my parents met, so this incredible journey that my mother had coming from England to Canada in the uh, mid-60s. The story of the Irishman coming ashore off the coast of New Zealand in 1790. And the third story is um, the story of Jing He, who was this amazing eunuch admiral of this vast treasure fleet the Ming Emperor created back in 14, well, 1402 he first set sail. And um, he sort of discovered the whole world and um, was the master of this huge army, of, a martyr of ships. And um, then there was a change in foreign policy in China and they just sort of destroyed it all. Stopped doing ocean journeys, looked inwards and it was all destroyed. And, and so I was really fascinated with this idea of this epic piece of history almost being lost as well. So. That's the third story and it, and, it, and it sort of has its parallels in the sense that I nearly didn't hear about how my parents met, which is this sort of little tiny story of the sea contrasting with this sort of huge story of the sea. You know, this is sort of a really interesting piece because Ian is the writer and the performer. So, you know, as a kind of script editor and director, it's been a journey of trying to bring out the kind of literary aspects of the work because Ian had a very clear objective that he wanted to create a beautiful piece of writing. And then there's a whole process of discovery of how the heck do you perform this? One person, multiple characters, multiple stories. And so as a director, you're trying to find 
the most kind of um, dynamic, theatrical, entertaining way to kind of create these worlds and for Ian to actually be able to perform it. <gasps> oh, Terry, what you waving that gun round for? You can hardly hold it up, you idiot. No, I was playing it cool, but I figured if Terry was here, so would be that captain and the rest of that crew. So, Terry, how would they find me then? Ha! Whew! Poof! Little did I realise how much of a scrapper Terry was. Ha! Poosh! <laughs> Come on, then. Poof! 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 Just a moment, Terry! Ha! But then he had me. Doosh, 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 doosh. Now I suppose I did get a little bit carried away. Splat, 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 splat. But then Terry, he starts in with his wine and ah, please. I thought you was one of them dirty heathens running around in your grass skirt. I thought you was gonna eat us. Well, I didn't take to that. <gasps> ah, please. <laughs> I had to tell. They beat me half to death, Jimmy. They told me I could go see me old ma again if I told him. Well, fair enough. I probably would have told too if it meant getting back to see me old ma again. I left him there, crying in the mud. And then I ran. In Ship Songs, what we've done is we've worked with a whole kind of visual aspect. And that's been a really exciting part of the work. <laughs> oh, hello. I'm Dennis Hawley, uh, Sparky. I'm the Morse code operator on the Manchester Progress. Beep, 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 beep. I needed to help the nurse get a message through to St John's Regional Hospital in Newfoundland. Beep, 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 beep. But I told her, you know, we're too far out. You know, we're too far out, see? But then I think, I oh, know, I'll send it north to my mate Dale. He's the operator on the uh, weather ship Charlie, stationed in the middle of the Atlantic. Chinese whispers. <laughs> yeah, my name's Dale Chester. Do, 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 do. I get some message from Sparky on the progress. Do, 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 And I relayed it to this French guy I know. He lives up the coast of Newfoundland. He traps beavers, but he's into Morse code too, you know. My name is René Lafleur. Da, 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 da. I sent the message onto the Moscow operator at the St. John's Original Hospital. That, 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 that. Who gave it to me? Hello, <laughs> I'm Dr. Roger Patterson. I was the doctor on duty that evening and I received the message, read the incident on board the Progress, and after several communiques back and forth, it became clear there was absolutely nothing I could do. <laughs> See you in four days. Stop. Best of luck. Stop. Chin up, nurse. Stop. One of the um, things I started the whole project with is the song that starts the whole show, and that's actually the, the only song that hasn't been written for the show. Um, it's an old sea shanty from somewhere or other. But with, I really wanted to use it, but I wanted more songs as well. I wanted the idea of the show being quite lyrical. And so um, somewhere along the line someone said, you know, let's, let's use Don McGlashan. And um, the thing that really appealed about using Don is um, Although he's, he is an amazing uh, songwriter, the songs that he writes are often very, um, are, are like little stories. They have this very sort of um, fabulistic uh, sort of aspect to them and are very lyrical and, and often very romantic. And um, there's a wonderful sort of positivity to them. So I asked Don and he, was, he said yes. And he, so he's written these amazing, well, there's an Irish drinking song and this uh, sort of ballad of Zheng He sort of tells the tale of his whole journeys, which um, has been brilliant. It's been a really nice way to get a lot of information across quite quickly and in, and in a sort of lovely and uh, lyrical and romantic way.